Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. Um, a few weeks ago, maybe even a month, I released a video on how to use the Artemis cheat system with the RCPS3. This video is a, like a little step-by-step. -step. I'll try to make it quick. Hopefully, you can keep it under 10 minutes so you can get back to gaming. So, let's get to it. Um, you can download the latest version as of April 12, 2020. Um, from, I'll leave the link down in the description. This is the GitHub page for the most current version. So what you want to do is you want to download the package file. Uh, you want to open up your RPCS3 and then you want to install it. So with it being a PKG file, you just drop it. Tell it to install. Next, you want to go to the application. You want to run it. You can do a create a custom um, configuration file for it. Everything is really just standard. I just do this just because you never know what might happen. So as you can see, it's making it 6.1 release candidate 6.1. So uh, then you want to run it because you need to extract the cheat codes. Um, that it supports out of the, I guess the eboot bin or whatever, but I'll probably speed this up here. I guess I might as well pop a disclaimer right here as well too. Not all cheat codes work. I mean, I've tried, I don't know, maybe Let's say I got maybe six out of 10 to work. But I mean, it's a trial and error type situation. So before you give me a thumbs down, oh, it doesn't work on my game. I mean, I'm letting you know now, not everything works. So if you find some that do, more power to you. If they don't work, I mean, who knows? As the emulation progresses on, maybe they probably will start working. This usually takes a few seconds, um, but once we do it one good time, I mean, that's kind of like it. We don't have to uh, run it again. So next now that we've had it extracted, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to go to the install folder, go to user directory, and then user cheats. And then all the cheats that it supports or the game patches that we will probably need will probably be in here. So um, I guess we'll try Rambo because I know for a fact that that one does work. Um, Contra Hard Corps work, Mortal Kombat. I mean, it's the list just goes on and on. Need for Speed Carbon. I mean, you just gotta. It's a trial and error type situation. So, in this case, we'll try Rambo, just for the sake of the video. Okay, so normally how this works is you find a game name, like in this case. Okay, so it's Rambo. Then you make you have to make sure the serial number. I'll probably pop an arrow up with these two, but the serial number and the version number have to match the cheat. So in this case, we're working with Rambo, and it's 1963, which it says it right here, 1963, and then the version is 1.01, .01, which is right here. So what you need to do is use your text editor. Now I use Notepad++, which I'll leave a link to that down in the bottom too. And then the cheat codes that we're looking for are anything, so far that I found it works, this is 6,000 code and a 39,000 codes. So if it ends at 39,000 or 6,000, then more than likely it's going to work. So with that being said, now we have to get the cheat stuff together. So now to run the cheats, you have to go to your patches folder wherever you keep your PlayStation 3 emulator. When you're looking for the folder patches, everything is extracted. It's time for us to make the 
canary cheat file. Um, the reason that I say this or canary patch file is because you don't want to add anything to your patch file that isn't working. So this is basically like a trial and error. So you can try as many as you want. And if it works, then I say go ahead and, you know, add it. So what we need to do now is we need to create that file, which is an imported patch. I use Notepad++ myself. I found it to be real easy, but I mean, mileage may vary. So depending on whatever you decide to use, you know, what's comfortable with you. Me, you already know my motto. I'm more of a cut and paste guy. Don't really do a whole bunch of typing, but if I have to, I will. So with that being said, you want to open up Notepad++. And I would say go to the RPCS3 wiki. Uh, so we can get the format they give you a whole breakdown on basically what we're going to do is manually add custom patches which that's where we're going to do the canary and like they you know they have us you know as well too notepad subline and vs code so i mean once again your mileage may vary so what i found to be the easiest thing is is um I just pull out the pieces that we need. I mean, you can add all this stuff if you want to, but I mean, you're going to be constantly keep deleting it. It really doesn't matter to, you know, have it like that. So take this and we're going to paste that. We're going to take this equal sign out here. And then we're going to make this a capital V. Then the next line, since we're going to using standard codes, we're going to copy this out here. And we're going to paste that into our file as well, too. Hit space. And now, the fun part. So at this point, uh, we need to get the PPU, which is the executable. So that's what we'll be adding the patches to. Um, you can actually close all this stuff out if you want. I mean, that's a you thing. but So what you want to do is you want to boot the game. Because you have to get the executable. So the way it works is, is that you're going to open up your RPCS3. Then you're gonna boot the game. What I say is, is just basically let it get to the the start menu, so we can ensure that we get the code that we need to, uh, or the executable rather. Okay, so once we're at this screen here, you can actually close it. And you want to close the emulator as well, too. Next, you want to go back to your RPCS3, wherever you keep it loaded. And what you're looking for is the log file. Use Word, Notepad to open it up. And what we're searching, you're going to look for the PPU. So PPU, capital, all caps, and then a hyphen. I mean, it's the easiest way to look through it, not unless you want to scroll through the whole thing, but I mean, I don't know. You're always going to run across this first one, which this is not the one we're looking for. We're looking for the one for Rambo. So, and then here it is right here. This that Bless 1963, which we were just looking for on the Rambo code. So right here, Bless 1963. So that's the PPU that we need. So what you need to do is copy and paste. Whoa, that was kind of... Uh, but anyway, you need to copy and paste the PPU, or you can type it out. I mean, totally up to you. You want to add it to our file here. So paste it all the way up to the semicolon. So now we have our executable. Now, we want to go back and finish populating the stuff. So here's the patch name is the next thing. So, and this is says infinite ammo. So we'll copy that out. And we're going to paste it here. Then the next thing is the game name, which in this case is Rambo. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta spell it right huh? Then the game ID, which we know the game ID is 
right here, 1963. So we're going to copy out and then we're going to put it here. So we're going to paste that there. And you know the version of the game is 1.01. .01. Which I mean you could open back up the emulator as well too. And then you can go straight to it. So here, I mean, technically, if you you want to, you could just actually copy the info out, say copy name, put it in between the two parentheses, hit paste, Rambo the video game. I mean, it's infinite ammo. Um, then we got the version number, which is here, 1.01. .01. The Arthur, I mean, just out of, to me, it's just like out of respect because they did find the codes. I mean, if you see it, I mean, only person really looking at it is you, but I mean, just in all honesty, for the sake of the video, we're going to give Danny G his credit. Um, notes is kind of up to you. What version of the code is, I would just put 1.01, .01, but I mean, that's a you thing, because the only person looking at it is you, so. You can say 1.1. .1. And then the patch. Okay, so now you want to get the code, and, um, the code is in the file that you opened up. Um, here it is here. Here's the first part of the address. You want to copy out these two zeros up into the last digit, which is four. So you copy it out and go back to your text document. And behind this X, you just paste it. Place a comma. And you start over with the zero and the X again. And you want to go here and get the back part of the code which is this one you're going to copy go back and you're going to paste it so seeing it is two codes i just say put another placeholder i mean if you want to type it all over you can but typically i just copy and paste y'all know my motto mr copy and paste man that's me and then you'll paste that here and with the YML, it has this has a formatting, so you have to kind of keep it the same as the first one. So this is definitely not infinite ammo. This one is now infinite health. So you're gonna copy this out. Hit copy. I'm gonna go behind here, and you're gonna say Control V, which is the name. So it'll pop up in the populated in the list. It's definitely ramble. All that stuff is the same. And now you just got to put the cheat in. So in this case, 0, 0 up to the C. You're going to copy it out. I'm sorry. Then you're going to place it before the comma. You hit Control V. And then once again, well, actually, it doesn't have to change the same one. And that's it. So once you have that listed in the list here, now you want to save it as. So, what you want to save it as, let's see, file, you want to save as, it's not a normal text file, it's a YML file, so, where is it at, here we go, YML ain't markup language, so you click that, and then you want to name it, it has to be the correct name, so let's get the correct name here, let's go to patches, and let's go to old patches and here it is right here imported patch YML so you just take the name out which I'll pop it on the screen as well too so you want to save it as that so you hit paste and then you want to save it to the patches folder so we go back to our PlayStation here's patches here and then you want to save it and there you have it so you can minimize that. You're going to open up your RPCS3. Now you want to go to your manage game patches. It's going to pop up because you did um, 
you're using a canary file and I noticed like when you change it, it always wants to update it but tell it no so you tell it no and then you go down to the list to the game that we're working on which was Rambo here it is in the list oh yeah so when you when you're here as you can see like when you first open up the packet manager I probably should have done that but it's gonna say only show own games and as you can see oh it is in the list so then sometimes it might not be in the list and you need to uncheck that and it'll be in the list as well too so when you uncheck it it shows all the patches but in this case we're looking for Rambo so and then here we have it infinite ammo infinite hit points you're gonna check both of those you're gonna hit apply and hit save then you go to Rambo all right and then you start your game Infinite health and infinite ammo. Shoot forever. Let's shoot it. Let's go. Ah, oh, hell, man. Charlie's got serious firepower. Move cover to cover. And as you can see, it did work. Um, we got infinite health, infinite ammo. Hope this tutorial helped out somebody. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate. Put it under the video. I answer them, and you know, I ain't gonna say like same day, but close to the same day. I mean, but hey. Uh, once again, uh, this is Shy Dreams signing off. Holla y'all next time. Peace.